Community-Based Eco-Infrastructure. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 134. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 134, October 18th, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, creations, everything that we're working on that I'll be talking about, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 50% of the written content for the creativity lesson plan to the website, as you can see here. The written part of this lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of creativity is now 100% complete on the site. Behind the scenes, we also wrote the final half of the emotional states lesson plan, bringing the written part for that to 100% complete. And finally, we completed and added the first 50% of the mind map for the creativity lesson plan to the web page. You can see that mind map here. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source Arakacha Hub. We also added three additional recipes from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your BQ, to the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan. These recipes are Autumn Muesli, Italian Wedding Soup, and Sloppy Sliders and Slaw. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team continued what we hope will be the final revision of the Footers, Foundations, and Flooring page for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This week included continued development of the new French drain water collection design to further reduce material costs and increase longevity. What you see here is the newest hand drawing of what this design has evolved to. We also added the five new village renders to the High Good Housing page and updated all the descriptions there. You can see these new additions here and read more about each village by visiting the page and clicking the images to be taken to the detailed page on each village. In addition to this, we began posting the website content for the Dome Home Window and Door Framing tutorial for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. What you see here is the beginning of this work showing the tools and materials details. We'd say we're now about 15% done with this new page creation. 
on the Straw Bale Village Pod 2, Sayonara Batista de Oliveira, fourth year architecture and urban planning student, finished the second round of beautiful renders of this village, updating the images you see here to fix some shading and other structural details. Sayonara also created these 2D perspectives for the complete village 2 presentation we are working on. Last but not least, we completed about one third of the written portion of the edits on the presentation the intern team created for the Treehouse Village Pod 7. The complete edits to that project are now about 50% finished and the presentation will be released on our website when the revision process is 100% complete. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This last week, the core team continued updating the SketchUp 3D for the Duplicable City Center. This week, we added extensive details to the kitchen area to match the AutoCAD layout. Once done and double-checked, we'll be able to create beautiful renders of these areas. We'd say we're now 60% done with this 3D work. Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued developing and evolving the pipe furniture designs. What you see here are the fourth-generation concept designs for the chairs, tables, and couches that will be in the Duplicable City Center library. We also continued transferring and editing the updates from Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, to the Control Systems Automation page. This week we added our privacy policy and updated the FAQ. You can see this work here, and we'd say we are about 75% complete with the total page redesign. Behind the scenes, Lucas Tetsui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student working under Mike's guidance, continued developing the Control System Connector Board. The image you see here shows the latest design evolutions as Lucas and Mike start working on the specifics of minimizing space requirements and detailing how everything will fit together. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team continued editing and formatting the wonderful work of Oz Chersky, lawyer specializing in trademark and copyright law. This included a final round of follow-up edits to the open source and copyrights tutorial and setting up the initial layout details and imagery for the open source trademarking tutorial page that you see here. We'd say we're 50% complete with the trademarking tutorial. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. Community-based eco-infrastructure has the potential to transform life on this planet positively and permanently for everyone and everything living on it. The way that we believe that this is possible is through an evolution of sustainability that combines the physical components of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, with the emotional components of sustainability that we've identified as fulfilled living practices, high school education, high school economics, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together to create a way of life that is more pleasurable, enjoyable, and generally accepted as better than the way that most people are living right now, while it simultaneously improves life on the planet, for the, all the surrounding communities, for other people, by teaching them how to live this way too. We call this living and creating for the highest good of all, and we're bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all to create the tools, tutorials, blueprints, and do-it-yourself instructions to establish self-replicating and self-sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that are designed to specifically demonstrate this community-based eco-infrastructure and how it can create a better lifestyle for people. And then taking that idea and teaching others how to do it as well. The idea of a self-replicating model is to demonstrate something and make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough that people want to participate. And by clearing away the barriers to participation and creating it as an open source and free shared blueprint, we can design the foundations for endless iterations and duplications and modifications and different versions of what it is that we're starting with, all moving in the direction of creating a better world for everyone so we can simultaneously address the most challenging aspects of our lives and our civilization right now. These being homelessness, starvation, social injustice and inequality, education, all of these things, economics, simultaneously. 
addressing them simultaneously because we say them as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. And we think that a comprehensive model that's actually going to make a difference on a global scale needs to address all these things simultaneously. So this is how we are building a bridge between pragmatism and idealism, creating a world that we believe can meet the needs of every single person here for this generation, for generations to come, all built on the idea of community-based eco-infrastructure. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds like something that you'd like to get involved with, we have a multitude of different ways to do that. Of course, the biggest of which would be joining our core team as a pioneer member, the people that would be moving to the property and building the prototype, one community, the seven different sustainable village models that will demonstrate seven different sustainable ways of building so that people can come and experience them, decide what it is that they like, the whole fulfilled living model, everything that is one community so people can experience it, tens of thousands, eventually hundreds of thousands of people, and take what they see if they like it and duplicate it anywhere. We also have satellite members, which are people that work with us behind the scenes, join us on our weekly team calls, but won't be moving to the property. There's consultants and volunteers working behind the scenes to help out in the ways that work best for them, contributing a few hours a week. And of course, the easiest way to support one community is just by sharing our information on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn, we are on Twitter, we are on Sue, we are on Reddit, Tumblr, uh, Facebook, of course all the different social media networks, about 15 others that I didn't name, to make it as easy as possible for people to have access to the information that we're creating, to the open source blueprints, tools, resources, to make it as easy as possible for people to get the information, to share the information. And so helping us share that information is one of the biggest ways, one of the simplest ways that you can help us to get the information in the hands of more and more people. Because we believe that creating global transformation and by global transformation, I truly mean transformation on a global scale that can positively impact the lives of everyone and every living thing here. The way to accomplish that is through participation. And so our whole model is to make participation as easy and as attractive and as affordable, as I've already said, as possible so that people will get involved. The moment we reach that tipping point, the moment we bridge that gap, we reach that tipping point of participation where there's now more people interested in creating a sustainable world and living and creating for the highest good of all than people that aren't. And really, it doesn't even have to be 51%. If you run the numbers, it only takes a very small percentage of people that are truly living for the highest good of humanity that can make a difference in the lives of everybody. And so when we reach that tipping point, we will live in a different world. We will create the world that is possible. And more and more people will get involved because the reality of it is, is when you create a new paradigm, a better paradigm, than what exists. You don't have to battle the existing system. Create a new paradigm, make the old one obsolete, as Buckminster Fuller said. Rather than battling the current paradigm, just create something better. And so we are here to create and open source something better. This is what we're doing. Now the number one thing that we need right now, of course, is still large-scale funding. Can't start building until we get the property off the market, the property that we've been working with for now five years, and that property is still in the market. We're still seeking the funding necessary. Take that property off the market so we can start building, so that we can start creating something where people can come and participate, physically participate in the process. So we can start taking our open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources to the next level, the building level, the open source free sharing with video and multimedia presentations, that aspect that takes everything we've already done, takes it to the next level. To do that, we need to get the property off the market. And to do that, we're still seeking large-scale funder, an individual or an organization that would like to either donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or invest in one community. None of us are paid. Nobody that works for one community is paid. I'm not paid. None of our volunteers are paid. All of us are doing this because we believe that a better world is possible because we like, we want to participate, we want to live in one community, we want to create this, we want to see what it's capable of to be a part of world change, to be at the beginning, to the, at the, the cutting edge of history in the making. And so if you happen to be somebody with financial resources that would like to be at the cutting edge of history in the making, from that perspective, we would love to talk to you. And also, there's all the people that are at the cutting edge of history in the making of this idea of community-based eco-infrastructure creating and blossoming and being open-sourced with the small donations, and that means a lot too. The little donations, the $5 donations, the $10 donations, the $15, the $50, the occasional $100 donation that we get every once in a while, those make a huge difference to our project because all the expenses that it takes to run a global organization like this 
that doesn't make any money for any of the people that are actually working in the organization, to have those expenses covered by donations is a really big deal. And so we like to say thank you. Every single time we say thank you for the people that are supporting in the small ways that work for you, it helps us out a tremendous amount. Thank you for the emails. Thank you for the Facebook shares. Thank you for watching these videos and sharing these videos and all of our content. Thank you uh, just for paying attention to what's going on and participating, even if it's just being happy that we're creating this. The, the well wishes do mean a lot. Every little bit makes a difference as we continue to move closer and closer to that tipping point. We're technically really just at the very beginning of it. But the moment this catches fire, it has the potential to snowball into something that will transform the world so fast that it will make people's heads spin. We'll be amazed at how quickly we as a human species, as one human family, as one global family, can work together and simultaneously address the challenges that are, that are, that are currently present in pretty much every aspect of our lives, but doing that all at once, putting them together because they're so interrelated and interdependent. This is what one community is up to. This is what we're doing. This is what we work on every single day, every single week. So thanks for following our progress. As always, uh, we will continue to do what it is that we're doing. We will, of course, keep on keeping on until next week. Thank you.